Elon Musk still won't give up on his aerospatial projects and last week SpaceX released 49 of its Starlink satellites into orbit. So in today's video, we will be bringing you some more news about the Starlink project. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe button after the video. The enterprise has placed nearly 2,000 of its broadband beaming satellites into area so far, with plans for 40,000 more. Launching from Space Launch Complex 40 on the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Falcon 9 to the skies or to the skies at 9:45 a.m. on Monday, February 21st. But what's not normal is that it launched last week's batch into a geomagnetic storm that knocked up to 40 of them out of orbit. A camera operated by the nonprofit astronomy organization Sociedad de Astronomia del Caribe captured a photo of streaks of Hearth Place with inside that night time sky. With inside the night time sky at around 2. 40 a.m. nearby time on February 7th. Both fairing halves into this assignment have supported three preceding missions about 45 minutes after launch. Those fairing halves might be recovered from the water with the aid of using SpaceX's delivery dug 640 kilometers downrange. As the call implies, this project centered the fourth shell of Starlink Section 1. The shell that assures Starlink release is concentrated on may be determined internal of the project call. The primary number on this case 4 for Starlink Group 4 to 8 is a shell that the satellites will be inserted into. SpaceX is hoping to launch to the order of 40 Starlink missions in 2022, which would complete the fourth shell. It is expected that upon the fourth shell's completion, SpaceX will start filling the second shell. It's been a mixed few months for SpaceX's Starlink constellation. The company continues to ramp up deployments on the internet service providing satellites, which with today's launch will push the quantity in order to orbit near 2000. But the enterprise has additionally drawn growing scrutiny, with each China and NASA lately elevating worries approximately Starlink's capability to propose the collisions with different gadgets in low Earth orbit. Now, SpaceX is searching for to appease a number of those worries. The company argued that it has designed Starlink to be a safe and sustainable system and revealed details about how its satellites act autonomously to avoid collisions, details that it had previously only hinted at or those analysts had suspected. This is certainly the most detailed explanation SpaceX has ever given off their procedures. Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist on the Harvard Smithsonian Center of Astrophysics, advised Astronomy. Ahead of launch, the rocket rolled out of a horizontal integration facility at SLC 40 in which it changed into then made vertical way to the transporter erector, additionally called the strongback. The TNE is used to load propellants into the second one degree of the vehicle, offers structural guide even as vertical, offers strength and air con to the payload, and take the Falcon 9 from its horizontal position to its vertical position. At T minus 38 minutes, the launch director will verify that the vehicle is GO GO for propellant loading, pending all teams being GO. Three minutes later, at T minus 35 minutes, SpaceX will begin loading subcooled RP-1 onto both the first stage and the second stage. At the identical time, chilled liquid oxygen starts loading onto the primary stage. The Falcon 9 makes use of RP-1 that is cooled to 7 degrees Celsius and LOX. This is cooled to minus 205 degrees Celsius. At T minus 1 minute, Falcon 9 will enter startup and begin pressing its tanks for flight. At this time, the Falcon 9 is in charge of the launch countdown. All technical aboards from this factor ahead may be treated via way of means of the automobile itself, and now no longer the floor operator. However, even all through this period, the floor operators are nevertheless capable of scrub the release in case both a selection and a climate violation. It's been a mixed few months for SpaceX's Starlink Constellation. The company continues to ramp up deployments on the internet service, providing satellites which will, with today's launch, will push the wide variety in orbit near 2000. But the enterprise has additionally drawn Starlink's capability to propose collisions. That is with different items in low Earth orbit. Now, SpaceX is in search of to soothe a number of those issues. In a declaration published on its internet site, February of 22nd, SpaceX pledge it is devoted to keeping a secure orbital surroundings, protective human spaceflight, and making sure the surroundings is stored sustainable for destiny missions. Those missions are to Earth orbit and beyond. 
SpaceX operates its satellites at an altitude under 600 km due to the decreased herbal orbit decay time relative to the ones above 600 km. Starlink operates in self-cleaning orbits, which means that non-maneuverable satellites and particles will lose altitude and deorbit due to the atmospheric drag within 5 to 6 years and often sooner. See Fig 1. This greatly reduces the risk of persistent orbital debris and vastly exceeds the FCC and international standard of 25 years. Natural deorbit from altitudes better than 600 kilometers possesses extensively better orbital particles hazard for decades in any respect disease. Natural deorbit from altitudes better than 600 kilometers possesses extensively better orbital particles hazard for decades in any respect decrease orbital altitudes because a satellite TV for PC or particles deorbits. Several different business satellite TV for PC constellations are designed to function above 1000 kilometers in which it calls for masses of years for spacecraft to certainly deorbit in the event that they fail previous to deorbit or aren't deorite via way of means of energetic particles removal. At T-3 seconds, the booster's flight laptop will command the ignition of the primary degrees 9 Merlin 1D engines. The engines on the primary degree ignite in pairs to lessen startup transitions and hundreds at the vehicle. Once the vehicle has ensured that all systems are nominal, the hydraulic clamps at the base of the vehicle will release, letting the rocket lift off from the pad. On Tuesday, SpaceX, it said that if public tracking data shows a Starlink satellite has a 1 in 100,000 chance of a collision with another craft, it automatically assumes maneuver responsibility and autonomously takes avoiding action. If the other satellite is operated by a different organization, the Starlink satellite always maneuvers to avoid. It never leaves it up to the other craft. SpaceX is proud of its sophisticated and constantly improving design, test, and operational approach to improve space sustainability and safety, which are critical towards accelerating space exploration while bringing internet connectivity to the globe. We urge all the satellite owner and operators to make similar investments in sustainability and safety and make their operations transparent. We encourage all owner and operators to generate high quality propagated ephemeris and covariance for screening by the 18th Space Control Squadron and to openly share this information with others to maximize coordination to ensure a sustainable and safe space environment for the future. Ultimately, space sustainability is a technical challenge that can be effectively managed with the appropriate assessment of risk, the exchange of information, and the proper implementation of technology and operational controls. Together, we can ensure that space is available for humanity to use and explore for generations to converse with that satellite's operator. McDowell says that he is happy to see SpaceX disclose more of its operational practices, but that the company could still be a lot less vague on some details. For instance, what exactly the 1 in 100,000 threshold translates to in terms of distance and practice and exactly how much of a berth Starlink satellites give the ISS and Chinese space station. We hope you enjoyed our video. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.